New research at Foothills Medical Center might one day significantly reduce the time and reliance on neuroimaging resources that are currently required to diagnose a transient ischemic attack. Strokes and transient ischemic attacks, or mini-strokes, also known as TIAs, are among the most common conditions seen in emergency departments. TIAs are extremely common. They're somewhere around 75,000 a year, um, and probably another 50 to 75,000 of mimics as well a year. So over 150,000 in Canada alone. And if you multiply that number into sort of the rest of North America, the rest of the world, it's the commonest neurological condition that turns up in the emergency department. And in terms of the cost for assessment of a patient, it's certainly in, in the, the scope of 1,500 to $2,000. And if we can get a blood test that potentially costs five dollars, um, you know, the savings to the healthcare system will be massive and, and the patients in terms of their time. A transient ischemic attack is a stroke that goes away on its own with little or no damage but requires medical attention as it indicates a significant risk of having a major stroke. So the reason that TI is so important is there's about a 10% risk of going on to have a big stroke after having these transient symptoms. And the highest risk period is in the first 24 to 48 hours. And so this is why we need people in and assessed and the correct diagnosis made and the appropriate treatment done as soon as possible. And so in the cardiology world, they have a blood test. You come in with some chest pain or some shortness of breath, they do an ECG and they're like, well, maybe there's a heart attack. And they take a blood test and the blood test says, oh, there's been some damage to your heart, you've had a heart attack. Um, and that's essentially what we want to be able to do for stroke. We don't have it. It, will, it would completely revolutionize our care if we were able to do that. Essentially, we're taking blood from patients with both TIA and patients with mimics of TIA, so the migraines, patients with stress symptoms, etc. And we're comparing the proteins that we can see in the blood in patients who clearly have had brain ischemia that was transient versus those that have the mimics. And so the idea is we're looking to get a panel, uh, eventually a blood test of protein markers um, that can, we send it off and you get a red light that says, whoa, that patient can't go home, they've had a TIA. You get a green light that says, this is almost certainly not a TIA, they can go home. In the fall of 2014, 44-year-old Monique Pierce started experiencing stroke-like symptoms. And I went to just have a cup of coffee and sit down and read a book. And all of a sudden I felt this numbness come on the left-hand side of my face and I just couldn't shake it off. And all of a sudden then I felt a sharp pain down my left neck. And I felt like my left side of my face was drooping, so I went to go check it in the bathroom. And as I went to the bathroom, a numbness and weakness came down my left arm. She went to the emergency department at Rocky View General Hospital. And after a thorough assessment, it was determined that she was most likely suffering from migraine. She was referred to the Stroke Prevention Clinic at Foothills Medical Center, where she agreed to participate in the study. Hoping that my experience gives um, some support to the study. I think it's important, uh, the work that Dr. Sheila Coots is doing on trying to um, help patients like myself who come in thinking I'm having a stroke, what is a TIA, and educating our, our public. So we've been running it now for just over a year, um, and uh, we hope in the next three years that, that we'll have an answer. And built into this study is a, is a final phase where basically we, we bring out the blood test and we show that it works in real life. So in this study, we're gonna have about 2,000 patients uh, all well characterized with MRI scans and, and CT scans. Um, if there's a blood test to be found, we think we'll find it. Symptoms of a stroke can include difficulty speaking, a sudden loss of strength or feeling in the face, an arm or leg, sudden vision problems, a sudden severe headache that is different from past headaches, sudden confusion or trouble understanding simple statements, sudden problems with walking or balance, Anyone experiencing symptoms of a stroke should call 911, even if the symptoms have gone away.